Why, hello, hello, everybody. I'm Alex Robles, and this is the In My Grow Show, a podcast dedicated to taking the mystery out of cannabis. I want to thank everybody for joining me once again. I appreciate you guys showing up and hanging out and listening to me talk about cannabis. This is the first show of the new year, 2018. I love living in the future. I really do. Except that by now, Blade Runner said I would be seeing flying cars. But, you know, what do you do? I don't know how to invent flying cars, so all I can do is wait for somebody else smarter than me to do it. All right, so before I go any further, first of all, I want to thank bensound.com for letting me use their music for my little theme music intro. I love this little ditty. It reminds me a little of Charlie Brown. I also want to say thank you to DJ Monster Drop. I appreciate you, brother. All right, now, the new year, 2018. I hope everybody celebrated responsibly. I hope everybody had fun. I had a great time. My mom and my dad came up from Texas. So did my sister. I love seeing my nephew and my, both of my nephews and my nieces. No, I saw all three of my nephews and my niece, you know, got to hang out with my brother and my sister-in-law. I love those two. Of course, my wife and my daughter were there. Like I said, I, I had a great time. You know, I, uh, I was surrounded by family. I couldn't have asked for anything better. The family, the dogs were there. Shout out to Luca and Dante. What's up, you guys? So like I said, I hope everyone celebrated. I hope everyone's celebration was a great time. Because I know mine was. And, hey, that's a great segue. Because in 2018, January 1st, California got, and I say with air quotes, legal recreational cannabis. Why with air quotes? Well, because there's still a lot of caveats, a lot of limitations of what, I guess, legal means. But, you know, all we can do is, like I said, work towards the change we want to see. Because it's turning out the legal cannabis that we voted for looks a lot different than the thing that looks a lot different than the thing the politicians are giving us. You know, so so I'm going to take this moment to get on my soapbox. And remind everyone to please, 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 please register to vote. All right, stay involved. Those two things. Register to vote, stay involved. Okay, show up to your city council meeting if you can, when you can. I get it. You know, we're all adults. We've all got lives, responsibilities. We can't show up to every meeting. No, of course not. But if you see cannabis on the docket, make the effort to check, you know, and then show up and support a cannabis because we need to move the conversation forward because I promise you, there are opposition people, people opposed to cannabis who were out there working to take away this right from us that we worked already to get. So if your state, if you live in a state where you have a medical cannabis program or some kind of legal cannabis program, stay involved. All right, just because we voted for it, we can't say, okay, job done. Let's lean back, enjoy, enjoy a bowl or smoke a joint. Yes, absolutely, lean back, enjoy it, savor the moment. But stay focused. Got a lot of work still to do. All right, getting off my soapbox. Hey, look at that, huh? Sound effects. (laughs) Yeah, so. Anyways, all right. And now with the new year also, a couple of things changed. A couple of things changed for the medical cannabis side in California. This is going to be the cannabis report from the front line today brought it you know once again about california because a couple of things that happened with medical cannabis with the new year okay one is we got a 15 percent excise tax added to every cannabis product in medical yay all right well 15 percent um i don't agree with it but you know what i hope they do with it here's what here's what i'm gonna start campaigning for okay what we need to do with that cannabis tax is we need to offer free college tuition to every California high school student that's a legal resident and who has the grades to go to college, we should give them free college tuition to state colleges, UCLA, UCSB, USC, UC San Diego, UC Davis, all of those. Let's do that with with that tax money. I'm all for it. 15%? Let's put it towards that education. All right. So 
That's one of them. 15% excise tax on every medical cannabis product. I'm sure that includes both like flower, bud, and edibles extract and everything else. Which brings me to my other things, edibles. I'm going to take a slight break right here. You're going to hear me. I'm gonna, I have to take a hit of this uh, vape pen. It is, let's see, this is going to be sour diesel. It's the absolute extract sour diesel. It's pretty good. So here's the thing I've noticed about myself in these vape pen cartridges. They don't really... <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Uh, okay, these vape pen cartridges don't really get me high so much as stoned. Now, some of you are going to say, what's the difference, Alex? Aren't they both the same thing? No. No, they are not the same thing in my opinion. Okay, so when I get high, you know, let's say I get a new strain of flour in, I load a bowl, I smoke that bowl, that initial few minutes of that high it could be from five to 20 minutes long that first initial feeling of intoxication that I get that's the high feeling all right not like I said it'll last you know about 10 20 minutes it'll feel great and then after that it kind of levels off comes down a little bit levels off okay I understand this is the way the high is going to feel all right that's the stoned feeling those are the two different settings for me for cannabis. All right, where was I? Um, yes. All right. So back to the medical cannabis changes in California. Okay, for edibles, for a dosage, can't be more than 10 milligrams. Okay, which means everything that is an edible isn't going to have more than 10 milligrams in it of cannabis, regardless of the size of it, which makes it kind of hard if you have a medical condition and you're taking concentrated cannabis and let's say you need 200 milligrams a day to help you with pain management you used to be able to last year you used to be able to find one 250 milligram edible so you would only have to eat that one thing okay now that same patient is going to have to find and eat and consume 20 different 20 portions to get that same effect of that one portion is that right? Did I do the math right? 200? Yeah. Okay, 20 portions. All right. 20 pieces of chocolate at 10 milligrams each to get what you used to be able to get from, let's say, a 200 milligram chocolate bar. All right. So let's say you're taking cannabis concentrates for pain management and you're diabetic. So now you, so now you get to eat 20 pieces of chocolate as opposed to one piece of chocolate and you got to deal with your diabetes. Hmm. All right, we need to, who do we talk to, to to change this, to educate them? Where do we send the letters to? Who do we need to get on the show? Somebody let me know, please, okay? Email me at inmygrow at gmail.com. Find me on Instagram at inmygrow. But let me know who we have to talk to, because that's, because that seems like a very ridiculous knee-jerk kind of reactionary regulation that someone threw in just because they they don't know anyone who takes cannabis for medical reasons because they don't know any better. Let's help educate them. You know what, folks? I'm going to push pause real quick, take a drink of water. My throat is getting dry. I will be right back with this list. All right, and I'm back. Okay, the other thing now going on with these new medical cannabis regulations, it used to be that when you would sign up to be a new patient with one of these dispensaries, you would sign up with them, you would be put on a list of people that they would be caregivers for. It was like a membership to that dispensary is the easiest way I can describe it. So as a new patient, you would sign up to these dispensaries and you would usually get something for free, a free infused piece of candy, you know, a free pre-roll joint, you know, a free gram, you know, which was cool which was cool, man. That apparently all went away. You dispensaries can no longer give things away like that. Instead, I guess they're doing a lot of discounting. New patients get a new patient discount, things like that. That's cool too, but 
I like the old way better. It was kind of like when you were a kid and you'd go to the dentist, and then afterwards you'd get to go and, you know, pull the toy out of the grab bag or the whatever treasure chest the dentist would have there. You know, it felt like that kind of thing. After you sign up, you'd, you'd go over and they'd show you a little basket of freebies and you'd be like, hey, you know, yeah, let me get one of those. But nope, none of that good feeling. Yeah, all right. And the other thing, the final thing that really kind of tripped me out about these new regulations. Because I went into the dispensary, uh, what day was it? I don't know, maybe like the third or the fourth. So did my whole transaction, got a discount. Um, and they hand, they hand me my, my purchase. They hand me everything I bought in this white, non-see-through, child-proof Ziploc bag. Used to be they just, you know, staple your paper bag with the receipt on it. All right, here you go. You'd walk out the door. Now, you, you know, it's a whole, you know, child-proof bag thing, which, okay, I get it. Child safety. Let's do it. Sounds good to me. Child safety. But, I mean, really? Is it really child safety? Because... I remember walking out of many liquor stores with a cart full of beer and no one ever said, hey, we need to cover up all that beer before you walk across the parking lot and put it in your car. Okay. But like I was saying, that little weird little Ziploc bag that, oh, and by the way, the first time is free. After that, it's 99 cents for a new one, which great. I also, you know, like I said, in California, we have to bring our own shopping bags anyways to the store. So now it's just another bag I get to carry around in my car. That's such a great idea. All right. Yeah, so there you go. That is the the cannabis report from the front lines from California on this New Year's. All right, folks, I'm going to push pause real quick. I'm going to take a break. I need a drink of water. I'm going to take another hit. And we'll be back. Or at least I'll be back. When I say we, I mean the royal we. We as a collective. Wow. Can you tell? I'm kind of medicated. I get real loquacious when I'm medicated, real talkative. I love that word too, loquacious. Makes it sound like you're doing a smart thing when all it's really saying is that you're a big blabbermouth. All right, let's push pause on that note. All right, mi gente, I am back. That's right, mi gente. What does that mean? Come on, a little refresher. My people. Okay, so I'm back. And I also want to talk about buying seeds. All right, now when you're finally ready to grow and you're like, all right, I've already read the book from cover to cover. I know what to expect, mostly. I'm going to order some seeds. Okay, so here's what I suggest. Get the 10 pack of seeds. Seeds are not cheap. Okay, so be ready to spend at least $100 on seeds. That's the first thing. All right, be aware. Seeds are not cheap. The better the strain, the more expensive they get. Well, not even better, the, the newer the strain. If it's a new strain that people have been just like gaga over for the last couple of seasons, they're gonna be some, they're gonna be kind of expensive. Don't get the five pack. If you can, you know, spring for the 10 pack because it's gonna be more likely you're gonna find what you want. And if you're getting regular seeds and I'll go into the difference between regular seeds and other seeds are in a minute but if you're getting regular seeds you have more of a chance of finding a female or a couple of females in that 10 pack if you get the five pack it's very possible you may get five male plants it's also very possible you may get five female plants but if you get the five pack and you get five male plants you're gonna be pissed You're going to write a crappy review for the seed company. You're going to call the seed company because, you know, you're going to be upset. You spent some money and you got five male plants. It rarely happens, but it does happen. So that's why I suggest get the 10 pack. So now I want to talk about seeds. And I'm just going to talk about the three main or basic type of seeds that are out there right now. I'm not going to go into F1 is or F2 because it's really easy to go down a rabbit hole when, you, when we start talking about seeds. I just want to go over the, the main parts, the, the main things that you'll see out there when, you, when we look inside a magazine or when we go to a, one of the seed companies' websites. So the first one is just a regular seed. A regular seed means that it was made by taking male pollen 
or pollen from a male plant and putting it onto the flower of a female plant. Okay, that female plant, those seeds that that female plant makes, half of those seeds are gonna make male plants and half of those seeds are gonna make female plants. Okay, you have about 50-50 ratio because of the law of averages. That's why I said if you're buying regular seeds to get the 10 pack, because you have a bigger chance of getting a female plant that you want, because that's what we want. Okay, I hope I didn't confuse that too much. If I did, send me an email, get a hold of me on Instagram, and I'll try to explain it a lot easier. Okay, now, the other type of seed that you're gonna find out there is a feminized seed. Now these seeds will make mostly female plants. But when we see the ads in the magazines when they talk about feminized seeds, that means that there's a high likelihood, like a 90% likelihood that all the seeds from that plant are gonna make female seeds. So the other type of seed that we're gonna see out there is for an auto-flowering plant. Now an auto-flowering plant means that it's gonna go into flower depending on how old it is, not depending on the light cycle. Regular cannabis plants, if you change the light cycle from an 18 six, 18 hours lights on, six hours lights off, to a 12 12, 12 hours lights on, 12 hours lights off, that light cycle will send the cannabis plant into flower. It'll start to bud. It'll start to make buds, it'll start to make flowers. So the auto flower plant, it'll go into flowering depending on how old it is, not on if the light cycle changes. Typically an auto flower plant will go from sprout to harvest to maturity, completely mature in about 62 days. I mean, that's all strain specific. Some are shorter, some are longer, but on average, look it up. Don't take my word for it. I've only grown two autoflowers in my whole life. Okay, so I'm no expert on autoflowers, but from what I've seen and from what I've read. So those are, that's just another type of seed that's out there. Autoflowers are really good for the beginners because they're, they're really forgiving as far as if you mess up your, your lighting. And they're really quick too. It's a really easy way, it looks like, for a new grower to start to understand how a cannabis plant grows, kind of. Except for the whole autoflower bit, I guess, huh? Well, anyways, like I said, I'm no expert about it, but those autoflowers are out there. And yeah, those are the basically the three seeds that are out there. It's a regular seed, a feminized seed, and an autoflower seed. All right, folks, once again, I'm gonna take a short break. I'm going to take a drink of water because I'm thirsty again. I got cotton mouth. And we're going to be back to talk about a couple of terpene. Hang tight. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you uh, for letting me take that break. I appreciate that. All right, so now we're going to talk about terpenes. Okay, so a lot of the information that I'm about to read off to you, I got it from medicaljane.com. Okay, terpenes are the fragrant molecules found emanating from all plants, including cannabis. The fragrant imprint of each plant is a result of different is a result of the different combinations of these terpenes. Cannabis is unique in that each strain has a unique terpene profile. Terpenes are believed to exhibit medical properties independent from cannabinoids. Overall, terpenes contribute to a strain's, to a strain's particular influence, a phenomenon known as the entourage effect. In other words, it is both a combination of terpenes and cannabinoids together that make cannabis work so well for so many conditions. 
It isn't just one or the other. These things are working together in order to affect conditions. That's what the entourage effect means. All right, so the first terpene I'm going to talk about is linalool. Now, linalool is the one that gives lavender its flowery scent, and it's been shown to help boost the immune system. It's been also shown to reduce lung inflammation that's caused by tobacco smoke. And, it, and it's believed that it's because of linalool that that's why smoking cannabis isn't as hazardous to your health as it is to smoke tobacco because of the linalool that's in it. Okay, now the next terpene I'm going to talk about is myrcene or beta myrcene. Now, myrcene is known to be an anti-tumor, anti-inflammatory. It's been used to help with certain spasms. It also helps with insomnia, definitely, and pain. Absolutely, I can attest to both of those. Also helps cannabinoids like THC. It allows it to take effect a lot quicker. And it says that it's been shown to increase the maximum saturation level of the CB1 receptors, allowing for greater maximum psychoactive effect. Okay? Myrcene's found in hops, citrus fruit, bay leaves, eucalyptus, wild thyme, lemongrass, and of course, cannabis. Less well known is the fact that high myrcene levels in cannabis, anything above 0.5%, results in couch lock that's right buddies if you've got a nice heavy indica strain that's got a lot of myrcene in it that is going to knock you out that's what knocks you out in the in the indica strains is the, is the amount of myrcene in it that's why sativa strains because they're usually really low in myrcene that's why they're more racy they're more you know uplifting you can do stuff whereas if you want to go to sleep and you want to just you're ready to just chill out at the end of your day you get a nice heavy indica with a heavy myrcene. I mean, most places aren't going to tell you what the myrcene level is. But classically, historically, your indicas are going to be heavy myrcene. Your indicas are the way to go when you want to just decompress, come down. You know, if you're done getting stuff done. If you got to do something, do not take an indica right before. Because you're not going to get it all done. It's going to be hard. I don't want to say you're not going to, but it's going to be hard. All right. Those are the, uh, the two terpenes I'm going to go over today. Next time we'll go over two more. I'm only going to cover about six or seven of them because there's like 104 or 140 of them. I'm not going to go into them all. I'm just going to hit the highlights. So yeah, that's terpenes. And let's see, what do I got here? I've got, I've got notes. I've got notes, buddies. All right, mi raza. Ooh, look at that. There's a Spanish lesson for today. Mi raza. Raza is R-A-Z-A. It is Spanish for race. Mi, of course, is my. Mi raza. All right, mi raza. I'm going to get out of here. Okay? Remember? All right? It's 2018. Big things are going to happen for us. Okay? Stay positive. If you need to get a hold of me, email me. That's inmygrow at gmail.com. Or find me on Instagram at inmygrow. If you want to support the show, go to inmygrow.com. There's going to be a little tag at the top right that says support the show. That'll take you to the Patreon page. If you become a Patreon member, that account just helps me pay for hosting the website, pays for hosting the podcast, helps me pay for some equipment. If you can't support the show financially, don't worry about it. Instead, if you can't, tell three friends about it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here now. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful day. And remember to grow, learn, and teach. I'm out.
This song is called Definition. 